This video is a hypothetical wish list or working through example of a potential integration between Morgan and Obsidian. Obsidian, my writing app, Morgan, my time management app. I don't know how anyone else works inside of Obsidian or Morgan or how they would want it to work. So maybe after watching this video, you can share your workflow and how you would want an integration to work. I'm just curious to see what sort of integrations we would we would get with a writing app and a time management app, because I don't think there's one that does it really well yet, at least. Ample Note, I think, is the one that comes the closest, but I think it falls short on the writing element and the time element to try and get both. So an integration between two really good apps for me would be ideal. In order to do this appropriately, I need to show you like active projects that I'm working on and how I go through it. So you can see here I have a dashboard. It's a canvas inside of Obsidian, canvas dashboard, and I have queries. So if I come in, double click and then go in, I have task query. So this is a task block and I'm looking for any task that's not done. These tasks have an essay tag. So these are essays, hence the essay group, and I'm grouping by due date. So these currently are projects I'm working on. This is an essay project I'm working on. It's ticked because it's in progress. If you right click, you can go to to do done in progress or canceled. It is kind of annoying that you get this visual clutter. Maybe Obsidian, you could do something about it. I, I don't know, but it, it works for me because I can see what it is. But I do that to help me work out, okay, this one's currently in progress. And when I actually tick it, so left click, it will be done and it gets ticked off. This is essays. This is video essays. And this is the channel you're currently watching. I'm actually in progress because uh, I've started working on that. So you can see it's ticked. It hasn't been completely ticked off though. And then coming further down, I have all the other potential projects which are sorted by priority. So high priority or highest, high, medium, normal, etc etc and all of these task blocks are inside of this file educational science in a nutshell file so I've got headings as you can see there's there's loads of tasks some of them I've completed there's the completed date uh, you can see the priorities and everything else that's going on I don't actually look into this file much because obviously I look at the dashboard but if I go down to a current project I'm working on so make it more applicable this is a video essay I've been working on for the last couple of months and you can see we've got the highest priority it's a video for the ES channel and there's the due date that then shows inside of my dashboard but on the right side of my screen you can now see my time management so if I make this full screen go to the week you can see at the top I work on more than one project at once so I'm writing this I'm editing this I'm also scripting this out I'm writing this I'm working on these two videos through the week and I'm also writing this in preparation for a meeting on Friday alongside all the other tasks you actually see inside of my Morgan so in order to go between Morgan and Obsidian I need to inside of these tasks so there's the educational way video if I double click you can see there's a link to my obsidian. I click the link and now it's taken me to that file inside of my obsidian. That's how I've been doing it. And for those unfamiliar with Morgan, obviously you've got the, the normal task management overdue section today section. I've got nothing due today. So there's nothing showing because it's all been scheduled. But you can see this ecological way is actually the same task as this one in all day. So if I come down to my task list, ES channel, there's the task. If I click on it, that's the link to my obsidian. It's in the task list, the ES task list. It's got a high priority. So there's only three high medium low and then no priority it has an estimate time so that's how long I think that block of time is going to take so two hours is by default but you can change it when it's in the calendar and then I have the due date and the due date here the 20th doesn't sync with the due date inside of my obsidian task so if I change the due date in Morgan I have to then come back to obsidian and change it or if I want to change it in obsidian I then need to change it in Morgan not ideal in an ideal world they would be synced but the other benefit of using Morgan to plan things out is this ecological way task you can see it has multiple sessions so it's actually here and here and here so when I double click the link is there on each task block so I don't have to look at the top or look at the sidebar I just look at my day and okay this is what I'm gonna work on double click go in this is another project double click I go in so I don't have to worry about all the links at all because they've been added in the main task and then when I drag it into the timeline obviously the defaults two hours so it's gonna block me out two hours but now it's just created a version a multiple session of this task but delete that because I don't need that so for time management, this is great. But when I'm in this dashboard, either adding new projects or planning out different projects of what to do next, when to do anything, if I want to reschedule, which I can do there, I can postpone that, I reschedule it in Obsidian, then I need to reschedule it in Morgan. Not great, not fun. And as you can imagine, when I add a new project, so if I go Control N, ES, test project, so I enter, 
It's going to give me the priorities, which won't match entirely with Morgan, so let's just say highest, so it appears. Now that test project is appearing in the highest priority of all of the projects, but is not in Morgan at all. And for those wondering about the back end, if I go back to that file that I'm using all the queries from, uh, I have the quick add plugin, create the task inside of my inbox, so when I come in I can say, hey, oh, this project is related to online education, so I can just cut and paste it down the file, but all new projects are added in the inbox. But I don't actually want this project Project, so I'm going to delete it and once I delete the task it's now gone from the query the other way of doing this though and this is the one that I think would be more useful for me is similar with the notion integration so if I come back to Morgan I have a look at notion you can see what it's doing is it's looking at a database inside of notion and then the page inside of notion becomes the task so when I click on the task I can now open in notion that page and if in obsidian we can open the file instead of the task and the file the task is in it just opens the file it saves me having to, having to do this this deep link copy paste inside of Morgan and I can just click and then say open in Obsidian. And what this also allows me to do, if I go to the three dots, I can see other properties. So I've got a select property, a due date, a status, relation properties also work inside of this. So I can have the due date inside of Obsidian. I could also potentially have the scheduled and planned dates inside of Obsidian inside of a file. Obviously the name, the description is consistent, but using the file, I also have the potential to add other properties inside of Morgan and Obsidian. This is all theoretical, of course. But that would mean if I come to the file an ecological way, this is the actual project file and I'm doing the script. You can see it's a, a long old script with lots of things to do. Uh, these are just small tasks that I wanted to do inside of the project. That's a whole other conversation, but they're not main projects, which is what I would want inside of Morgan. And here we have the properties of the file. I had a question recently inside of my Discord server about why I'm using tasks and not the metadata menu plugin. And I am still using the plugin. You can see there's the icon, there's the list of inserting fields. And if I click on this drop down priority, there's the priority List that I've added in. There's the stages that I potentially would want. So I'm still using the plugin, but I don't know whether the task plugin or whether the files would work better for project management and working with Morgan. I, I really don't know. So at the moment I'm testing the task out, but if we were to have the files, which I think is my preference, I can say, hey, yep, yeah, this file is a project. I could make it more specific and say it's a video or it's an essay, but for simplicity, I'm going to say this is a project. There's the done tick box. I then have a due date, which I could sync up with Morgan, again, potentially. The priorities could match. I could match high with high, medium with medium, low with low, or highest with high, medium with medium, lowest with low, and just have the other ones as showing words. I, I, I don't know. Again, I'm not a developer. I'm just speculating here. But then I have stage here, and this is a property that I could add to the task inside of Morgan. So coming back to this notion integration, instead of it saying not started, it could say researching or thumbnail or video essay or script and then where here I have channel this channel instead of in Morgan it being to do done working or whatever I've grouped by you can see I'm grouping by the select property I could group by the channel property and then show the status property or group by status and show channel either way round at the moment inside of the Morgan task I have the channel list which is the ES channel which could be a property inside of the obsidian file and then I have I, I sort of use priorities I'm testing it. it it doesn't really work it's mainly the due dates and the schedule time that I'm going for but because Morgan doesn't have any other it doesn't have any like tagging feature inside of tasks anyway it does for events I can't say okay this is gonna be a video this is now a video essay and that personally would help me because for this video yes it's a video essay but I want to write an article about it on the website so does that become a new project or do I need to make a new task like how do I work through this writing file which has all my research and the stuff in it how do I like change or adapt this file into a different type of project for the Morgan side anyway because it would just be a, another task or is it the same task I, I don't know and of course there are lots of other possibilities with the file going into Morgan because you can have other properties which as I expressed could go in lots of different directions and using metadata menu to add those custom fields whatever it is I think would make the well it would make my workflow much easier but I don't know what your workflow is so let me know in the comment section below how you think it might work for you like what would what would be the best situation for you because I've tried using notion and notion calendar and there's too many friction points for me